Hello everybody, we're back in Lavender Town, and I just want to go real quick, uh, I'm gonna go into the Pokemon Center. I want to show off the Game Corner, because, man did that take a while! I just want to show, I'm gonna go into the PC, but not only did I get just the uh, two Pokemon that can get, I got the Dratini, the Scyther, and the Porygon, as well as these two. And that took so long! But wait, wait a minute, hold up. We're gonna go to the bag. What did I get? What did I get? Smoke Ball, Miracle Seed, Charcoal, Mystic Water, and the Yellow Flute. But wait, there's more. Let's go to the TM case because TM13 Ice Beam, TM23 Iron Tail, TM24 Thunderbolt, TM30 Shadow Ball, TM35 Flamethrower. I went and got every single item out of that game corner it took me a measly 11 hours because about halfway through i literally i started to wonder is there an actual timing to this and it turns out while it's not definite and you can still mess it up there is a little bit of a algorithm to it and once i had watched a video on it then i had basically gotten it and it worked very effectively so getting the jackpot was good but going into the pokemon tower i'm gonna go put on a super repel but now that we have this sylph scope thingy, uh, that'll let us see the ghost in this tower. So we can go up now. We could always, we could have always gone up, but we just couldn't see the ghost, which is the problem uh, for. Just turned around at the right time, but yeah. Now that we have the sylph scope, we can see the ghost now. But these trainers, all of them are gonna have, you know, uh, either Cubones or Ghastlies or ghost types, which is the only ghost type in the game, but. Out for ooh, I have beat the lead. I should probably change the lead. This would be good for uh, hot dog with his bite. It does super effective against a ghost. Level 29 for beaked though. We'll take it. We'll always take a level up. But yeah, I'm gonna change that real quick. I'm saved. And with that change, we're gonna go up and get this item real quick. You are gonna want uh, some repels, specifically super repels, because now you can buy those. That doubles your step for seemingly effective price, but. Yeah, uh, we can't run in this because it's considered a building, which sucks, though. But while we're at it, please tell me that's avoidable. Ooh, it is. Okay, I'm gonna go and get this. There are a lot of items here, let me tell you. And you might want to take take your time and get all of the items because some of them are pretty good, if I remember. Uh, I do believe... Okay, hold up, that is avoidable. Is there an item up here? No, there's no item up here. A lot of these trainers are avoidable, so that's what I'm going to do my best to do. But let me get this item. And I'm going to take on this trainer right here because, well, why not? I have nothing else to do. I need some experience anyways. That experience will be good for me. But now that we are back in the Pokemon Tower and we can fully explore, I did remember saying that we were going to go over uh, the encounters later. And, hey, we're at the later now, so let's go over and we're fighting one of them. Ghastly, the only ghost type family in the game, and unfortunately you need to trade for its final evolution. With its secondary poison typing, Ghastly's in a weird position in which it's super effective against psychic type, but also weak to it, which is quite tricky to play around. Even as a Ghastly, it has a hundred base special attack, which is crazy. But unfortunately, here's the sad part. In Gen 3, Ghost and Poison are physical types, so it doesn't even get to use any of that. So it gets no use out of that insane attack stat, and it's going to be doing basically nothing. If you don't want to get Ghastly, and you can go straight to its evolution, Haunter. Once again, the same thing with Ghastly, unworldly special attack and speed to make it a quick special sweeper, but it's not a special sweeper in this game. On top of that, it's very fragile and can easily get one shot. In Fire Red, it's not worth it, but in the later generations, it definitely is. The other encounter in Pokemon Tower is Cubone. Cubone is a Pokemon that wants to be a physical tank, but just can't do it. It's super slow and weak to a lot of really common types. It's beyond slow and has an okay move pool, which is its main downside, but can't use it due to being so slow and vulnerable once again. My main problem is that it's slow can't be, and it just can't be the tank that it wants it to be. It does learn some really good moves though. Uh, I believe it. Can I walk around this? I have no idea. I want to get that item, but oh, 
entered the purified and protected zone. Red's Pokemon are full healed. This right here is a purification zone. As you can say, as you can see, if you enter it, it'll heal your Pokemon instead of having to go all the way back to the PC. Give me your all. A lot of these people are weird. The only people you're going to be finding in this zone anyways is the po uh, the channelers, I believe it's called. Oh, hey, Haunter. I want to see if Growlithe can one-shot a Haunter. It, it seems like it can. Can it? Can it? I just want to see. Yep. Oh, critical hit. We'll never know because it critted. We had, a, we had a slow start with Hot Dog, but I think now that it's learned some okay decent moves and it's gotten up there in levels and caught up, then we now we can, now we're able to get there. We're seeing that output that I wanted it to have. Uh, down here is an X accuracy. A lot of these I'm probably just gonna sell at the shop. Yeah, that was our first repel that wore off. That is a massive upgrade. We probably would have already had two done. Well, not probably. We would have. Uh, are you avoidable? No, you are not. <laughs> You know, these, di these dialogue and text makes me feel like these people are possessed, but I don't know. They're just very weird. Why don't they only have one Pokemon, too, which is also crazy? I mean, it makes the battles a lot easier, but um, it's crazy. And what, <laughs> what I find amazing is that despite uh, Ghastly's attack stat being so far inferior to its special attack, I have Intimidate, so it lowers it even more, making it even worse than it already is. And is there an item up here? No item. I believe I'm gonna have to fight you. Yep. Ah. Urf -qua. Like, they sound like they're possessed. Like, Urf -qua. Ki -ki -ki. Give me your all. Like, these are just not normal things that people say. Once again, one Pokemon again. It's gonna be another level 24 Ghastly. And we're just gonna fight you. I feel like I should get Blitz and Blame up there, but, you know, we only have Shockwave on it, and so it's not going to get much use. But, let's go up to this floor next. Ooh, Rare Kit. I wonder if that's a, a design glitch where the room is all, or the black space in the room is all the way there. Be gone, intruders. We encountered a, a ghost. Silphscope unveiled the ghost's identity. It's a Marowak. The ghost was Marowak. Go, hot dog. I do not believe you can catch this thing. Because it is a ghost. No, let me, let me try. I want to test that out. I've never actually tried catching this. Yeah, you cannot catch it. It dodged a thrown ball. This Pokemon can't be caught. That's because it is a ghost. You can use focus energy, and probably because that I just used a Pokeball just to see... Because you cannot catch this Marowak, I will not be doing a um, bio on it. Because, well, you can't catch it, so you aren't going to be able to use it, so why would I do that? And I called it using Boomer Bone Marine. Uh, we're just going to fly up high. I want to see how much damage this does. But it's level 30, so it's actually pretty pretty good. I believe it's only attacking with this Bone Marine. What, it missed? And just because that missed, I'm just going to keep using Aerial Ice. How much does it do? Well, um... What if I tried Fury Attack just because? I haven't used Fury Attack in a while. Now that we've got good moves, there's no reason for me to keep Fury Attack. I'm going to use Leer. Yeah, I truly do believe Bomering is its only attacking move. It's something I'm just going to keep in beat. But it failed. Another Aerialize. One more Aerialize and it should be down. So it's got Leer, Focus Energy, Bone Marine. It hasn't even used its other move, so I don't even know if it has a fourth move. But there we go, it's down. If you didn't have the Silph Scope, that thing would stay as a ghost and you could only run from it. You couldn't hit it, you couldn't catch it. The ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. So that tiny bit of lore in which there was this Cubone that we saw in one of the houses, that was its mother that had been killed by the Team Rocket Grunts, in which we also see right here. What do you want? Why are you here? The real question is, why are you here? They're just killing innocent Pokemon. 
And we're gonna set- Ooh, that was like- It's almost like I'm crazy with it. I just- I just wanted to get Blitz and Bam some XP and he's just gonna send out a Zubat. Like, I swear I don't have any of this stuff written down. I only have like the gym leaders and all that uh, researched. And E4 and Blue. I don't have any of the Rocket Grunts. I just kind of wanted to get Blitz and Bam some experience and just Zubatted, so... I'm just like that. Maybe I just know. I'm just, I'm just a knowledgeable guy. How about that? And we can just keep spinning. Shockwork. I want to get everybody to level 30. That's going to be the goal. We got to get everybody up there. And does he have one more Zubat? Oh, he's got a Golbat. I see. He's a little tough one. Can I still Shockwave it? I know. Golbat's pretty frail. He should be able to be taken out in one hit. Oof. That's tough. That Astonished did 10. Well, I'm just gonna quick attack just in case. It might use its own priority move. I don't even know if it has a priority move. And level 28 for Blitz and Bam. I give up. Good for you. Uh, let me see. I'm not gonna forget this. So, he, he's gonna leave. Let me see if I can call it again. I think you're gonna have a bunch of poison types, so I'm gonna bring Dig Dug. I believe you're gonna have an Ekans. That's what I think. This old guy marched right up to our hideout. And then he starts ranting about how Team Rocket's abusing Pokemon. So we're just talking it over as a adult. How responsible. At least you weren't beating him up. You're just talking about... They're, you know, they're settling their differences. That's what they're doing. They're, they're respectable. You sent out a poison type, but you sent out one with Levitate, so... I did have the right... And you missed Dig Dug? Come on. What? He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words. Um, hot dog? I guess we'll send out hot dog. I was gonna dig dug all the way through it, but I guess not. And you're gonna have to- Ooh, drowsy! I am just in the knowing. We're gonna bite that. Hopefully you take it out. No. Maybe Ember does more damage, just bite it. Oh, well, we're gonna have to use Ember now, but... You can take it, especially since you're too lucky. Nice! Hot dog is disabled no more. That was only like a one turn disable. That was like the lowest row possible. And we're gonna get rid of that little rocket grunt. And I believe there's one more rocket grunt out there. Yes, Pokemon are only good for making money. Why not use them? You stay out of our business. They're very uh, capitalist driven, I see. Uh... Yeah, let's keep rolling with Hot Dog. He seems to be steamrolling Team Rocket. You're not saving anyone, kid. Man, I just want to save this old man. This old man is being held captive. We're gonna have four Pokemon. Zubat. Okay, so it probably should have went to Boots and Bam, but Hot Dog's got it. This Zubat. It's got nothing on me. It's five levels lower than it. And Ember should take it out. Nope. I'm surprised Astonish did so much damage to Jolteon. It's a very weak move. It's actually a Ghost-type move, I believe. One of the few Ghost-type moves. Shadow Ball is one of the best. Yeah, we, okay, if all he's got are Zubats, then we're going to Blitz and Bam. That's like his second one. If they have more than one, then I'm pretty sure their entire team's just gonna be that. That's my philosophy. Let's hope I'm right. Uh, Shockwave. Once again, take out the Zubat. Oh no, he might have two Zubats, two Golbats. That might be the play. Gonna get some experience from that. Oh, Brad. Okay. He's gotta have a Golbat, though. Either a Golbat or Eradicate. He's gotta have one evolved Pokemon. What? Well, we gotta crit. That, I'll take that. Yes, please. 280. We're not getting a lot of experience, which is weird. Eradicate. There we go. Well, I got one Pokemon correct. Let's see if Shockwave takes it out. If it doesn't, I might be a little scared. I might have Hyper Fang. Nope, nope. Crit? Back to back. Wow. Got 571 for him. So, the evolved Pokemon will get more, I guess. 
Don't fight us rockets. You're not getting away with this. Uh, let's go talk to this old guy. Huh, you came to save me? Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Kubo's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my house, Pokemon house. At the foot of this tower. Red, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for my Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Red received a Poke Flute. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. What he is saying is that we finally have the uh, the item that is required to get rid of these Snorlaxes that are blocking us from moving on. So, next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we're going to be exploring both routes as well as getting those Snorlaxes to wake up. See you guys then.